All right, now we're going to look at uh, two sets of data and we want to compare them side by side. So um, I'm going to show, oops, we open this data set in StatCrunch and uh, show you first how we can, we can get those descriptive statistics very easily uh, for two sets of data side by side. Let's go to Stat summary statistics column and what we can do is select hold down the control button or or you can actually click and drag and select them both in blue um, and we can compute summary stats for both of them and we're just going to get two rows in our output table and we can use that to fill in uh, this problem so we're asked for the mean of the financial stocks that's right here, um, three decimal places, so that's 22.257. Round up, uh, the mean for energy stocks, 15.003. After round up, three decimal places. The median, the medians are given over here, 17.585. And 14.865 respectively. Um, the higher mean rate of return, that's kind of an obvious question once you have it. Financial stocks have a higher mean, and the financial stocks also have a higher median. The sample standard deviation of the two, let's see, rounded to three decimal places for the for the financial stocks. 14.473 and then we have 5.334 rounded off. Riskier. What does it mean to be riskier? Riskier is more volatility or variability. So the higher the standard deviation, the higher the variability. So although the financial stocks had a higher rate of return, they were also much, much more variable because their standard deviation is almost three times that of the energy stocks. Now, that was some, some descriptive statistics, but let's look at some visualization. Let's look at side-by-side uh, -side box plots. So I'm going to select them side-by-side, -side, and I'm also going to check fences to identify outliers just to see if there are any outlier months. Okay. So here's a picture that you can see the you can compare the um, the energy versus financial. You can see that we've got a much smaller range for the energy stocks, much bigger for the financial stocks. There are no outlier data points because the fences go out and up down up to the maximum min for each of the two. Um, and but and remember this compares the medians, not the mean. If you want to, you can add the median to the chart by checking this marker for the mean, sorry, the mean, um, and so this is showing the mean and the median. Looks like for energy stocks, the mean and the median are almost the exact same because that black line is covered by the green line, but the mean for financial stocks is much higher. And actually that's gonna be because there's it's the stock price is skewed to the right is skewed to the higher values, um, whereas energy stocks looks much, much more symmetric. So a longer whisker, a longer tail on this side means that we have a skew.